What's up guys, today we're at Ben and Yan's. It's an authentic Filipino place and it's one of the best places you can get Filipino food here on Guam. So come on, let's go check it out and I'll show you how Ben and Yan Guam looks like. Let's go. All right, pretty much, we're checking it out. Um, looks pretty good in here. Pretty like Pinoy wooden style home. So here's the menus on the right when you come in. Yeah, Pinoy wooden home style vibes. This is cool over here. They got a little barbecue uh, grill area that they got for when they do Esau, barbecue sticks and more. Yeah, very cool vibes. So yeah, you got all this regular Filipino looking restaurant and you got a guy Esauing over here. He's cooking barbecue. That's cool. <laughs> they got the bamboo wooden Baha'i Kubo vibes over here as well as the lights. They're freaking cool, bamboo lights. And then um, we even got some pastries over there. I'll show you those in a bit. I'll go into detail with that. That's some good stuff. Let's go. All right, so they got the taste of Philippines right here. A little taste of home with all these cool pastries. You even got bagaong, sardines, uh, peanut butter, pastries, and more. Even like some nuts, peanuts, uh, garlic, assorted uh, pulveron, and more over here. We got, um, yeah, pulveron. Um, what else? Pastillas. We got pusit. We got tons. Look at this. Look at this. Ukoi uh, shrimp uh, crackers. More pastillas. Uh, this one's cheesy. There's different flavors they got here. Um, assorted. Mm. We also have this pusit alamang. It's kind of like a bagong, like a shrimp paste. And even got this chicharron, like crispy mushroom egg flavor over here. Uh, oh, cool. Look at this. This is tamarind. They use it to make sinigang. Uh, it's like a sour soup. Pretty cool, man. They have everything here. It's a pretty good store, restaurant. I love this place. Oh, they even sell this lechon paella. All right, this is the menu here at Ben and Yen. Uh, let's go check it out. You don't even see my face, but I'll go in depth with what they sell and kind of recommend stuff. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at those calamaris. Oh, yeah. These are appetizers. We got chicharron bulaklak and tons. Oh, look at this. Beef steak. Tagalog, that's some good stuff. Karkare, that's the traditional stuff in the Philippines. There's so much things here. Look at the menu. Just going through this real fast. Um, that one's good, Karkare, like I said. All right, so next up, I think we got a chicken side of the menu. These are manok, which means chicken in the Philippines. Uh, yeah, so pretty much adobo. That's a good stuff right there, man. Oh, fried chicken. Oh, we got fish here. Oh, bangos. That's like milk fish. That's some good stuff, especially when it's fried. Let's see if they got it. Oh yeah, look at that. Escabeche, natang tilapia, tons. There it is, daing na bangos, deep fried marinated milk fish. That's some good stuff. I recommend that too. All right, on this side, it looks like they're gulai vegetables. Vegetable dishes that they have. Uh, I'm not feeling any vegetables right now, but hell yeah, I love Bicol Express. That's some good shit. Oh, ooh, look at that. You can even put some different type of chatsui, whatever you want to put on your, your kind of dish. Uh, next up, we got some noodles, I think. Pancit noodles, yes. Hey, baby. So the home, palabok, those are the good stuff. Even pancit mix. Mm. All right, Ready? I ordered one of those specials, the crispy pata. Hey, That's some good stuff. They also got pork dishes here, baboy dishes. Uh, what's this? Uh, kanin, fried rice and more. There's even tons of, look at the rice. So much good portions here, man. So much good things to pick out. Even the rice is, look at that, look at that. Some good stuff. Oh, uh, seafood, yes. This is some good stuff. Look at that, look at those fishes. Look at the mussels. They got tons of seafood here in Beninyan. I recommend you guys come here. There's so much to choose from. They even have silog, man. Silog specials, man. All right, this one is a uh, sizzling plate special that they got going on. Uh, I recommend it. They have really good gravy here. Uh, they even have soup. I recommend the sinigang here, pork sinigang. Uh, let's check what else they got in this menu. This is the last page. Ooh, you got the desserts. Uh, halo halo, you gotta get that. That's your plan, halo halo. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's a Filipino dessert dish, traditional. And they also have different kinds right here. Uh, of course, the drinks. Uh, you gotta get the Filipino calamansi juice and of course my favorite Arizona green tea This place is so much like Philippines every house has a giant wooden spoon and wooden fork I don't know the reason to it, but I think it's like blessings These days will have like a dessert table over here where they sell 
pretty cool, man. Interesting. Oh yeah, they also win award-winning uh, things from Pika's Best. And of course, yeah, the snacks. What's this called in Filipino? Huh? This? That's why they put the food, right? They got uh, vinegar here. And free house water with ice, of course. Rice vinegar. Don't want to open it. Don't want to come out. Isao is always best with vinegar. Isao. Pork isao. Pork isao. Good with vinegar. In Philippines, it's actually chicken, and it's like a little line, and it's orange. It's really good, like street food style. I think Jin's gonna try one. This is a little different from the isao we we see at the street food in Philippines, but yeah, good stuff. But <laughs> they like their rice is in the little pot. Yeah. See how they leave it on the thing? That's the pretty cool stuff. That's how they rice is here. They even have Filipino uh, GMH channel here playing, make the Philippine vibes come along. That's a big portion of crispy pata. Just had some of that barbecue, pork barbecue, really good. Crispy pata just came. Check it out. Thank you. I need one. Alright, uh, so crispy pata comes with this gravy. It's also called Mang Tomas. Uh, we're gonna dip this bad boy in there. Oh, it's not Mang Tomas. It's, uh, it's kind of like their own house gravy. Let's give it a bite. Oh wow, so crispy, but so moist on the inside, juicy, gotta have it with rice. And this is what I got, this is the pizza. It's made out of pork and I think pork snouts and then usually they put an egg and it's on a sizzling plate. Look at that, it's good stuff, yum. All right, we're gonna try that sisi. We're gonna put it with some vinegar. Some Trinidadian rice. Try it out. Very crunchy. But it tastes so good. Also, what I like to do with the sisig is put it with this chili paste. It's like sriracha kind of. It bursts out all the flavor of the sisig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ben and Yen. I'm hope I'm hoping you liked it. Um, there's a lot on the menu. Uh, this time I didn't get uh what I usually get. I usually get sinigang here, but uh, today I got the sisig. I love that stuff. It's good with vinegar. It's good with pepper paste and more. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Please like this video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. And leave a comment for me down below. Thank you for watching. My name is Mark. I'm out.